what is the difference between an EP and an LP? LP stands for long play and means, in essence, a full album. The term began being used to refer to 12-inch 33 and a third RPM records that have a runtime of about 30 to 44 minutes, and over time, the term also started to be used with cassettes and CDs. EP stands for extended play, which is longer than a single and not long enough to be a full album. The exact requirements are not necessarily set in stone. Different sources will give you different definitions. For sales purposes, the Recording Industry Association of America says between three to five songs and a runtime under 30 minutes is an EP. But for Grammy Awards, an album must have five or more songs and a runtime over 15 minutes. And they do not differentiate between LPs and EPs. On the other hand, both Apple Music and Spotify use the criteria of four to six songs with a total runtime of under 30 minutes. Apple Music also considers a record an EP if there are one to three songs with one song longer than 10 minutes and a total runtime of less than 30 minutes. But do the exact terms matter? Not really. Other than streaming services putting the album in the EP section of an artist's profile, there's no real practical difference between an album being called an EP or an LP. Thanks for watching. For more videos, check out one of these.